Welcome back to Qatar. It's our first proper day out exploring and we've started here at the National Museum. So let's go inside and in this vlog we're going to take you around some of the most iconic sites in Doha. Let's go! So we've come to the outer part of the National Museum, which is completely free to enter, but the actual building itself is something we've never seen before, really. It's like a spaceship. I know, it's absolutely crazy. It's so cool. We read into it a bit just now, and the design is meant to be the blossoming crystals of a desert rose. So that's what the architect had in mind. There's a huge Qatar flag behind me. And this side, there's like views of the port area, which we're going to go to next. I think to enter the museum, it's 50 Qatari Real. So that's a just shy of 10 pounds. Yeah. So it's pretty affordable. We're going to see if about going in. If not, we're just going to enjoy the view from the outside of the building. Really cool place. Just spotted my first stadium that was used for the World Cup here, which was hosted in 2022. This one's actually pretty cool. You can see it in the distance, but it was the one that was made out of shipping containers, so they can actually dismantle the stadium. Pretty unique. I've also just spotted the colourful old port area, and that's where we're going next. It's hot today, isn't it? I'm sweating. It's very hot today. It's like 27 degrees, I think. Yeah. However, we can't... Ooh, what the heck is that? Oh my god, that was like a massive flying beetle. Um, yeah, we can't complain though, because we just complained the whole time about the winter. Um, so now we have to enjoy this heat. Because <laughs> we're going to have it for a while. <laughs> so the bit we're in now, it's the east, Eastern Gate, or East Gate. And I think, basically, it's meant to be like an old style Qatari village, maybe? I think so. Uh, yeah, something like that. But anyway, the buildings are really cool. Um, they look very kind of Middle Eastern with all the old. kind of designs. Yeah, old, old Arabic, Arabic style. Arab yeah, Arabian or Arabic style. Um, I think, is it Arabian? Arabian style. Arabian style. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty. And on this side, you've got all the huge kind of like modern skyscrapers. So it's like old meets new really, which is quite cool. It's very yeah. hot, we got our little waters. I know, we got our waters. We had to end up buying two bottles each because the vending machine didn't give change, so <laughs> we're good to go. But, but yeah, another cool. completely free part of the museum. Yeah. It's like the old Qatar that you don't see, or we've not seen too much of so far. It's all been about the kind of modern Qatar we saw driving in from the airport. And what you saw most of the World Cup was all these modern stadiums and huge skyscraper buildings, but this has been a really cool place to check out, really enjoyed it. And you can go into the museum, like I said, it's fairly affordable, but it's too warm to be in a museum today. So we're going to head down to the old port area, which is meant to have some colourful buildings. And yeah, we'll go to check that out. Let's go. Waiting to cross the road there was literally like spot the supercar or spot the expensive car. Range Rover, G-Wagon. I saw like a pretty rare Mercedes. Oh yeah, you were like getting excited about that. It was like, there's so many nice cars here, but we're not here for the fl cars, we're here for the flags. It's so cool. We've just arrived at the Flag Plaza and yeah, we're just gonna have a little wonder. Play a game of we're Guess the Flags. We're gonna play a game Guess the Flags. See who wins. Comment below who do you think will win. So I think why the Flag Plaza is here is because over a hundred nationalities are called Qatar home now. So it's massively diverse 
we've noticed that kind of trying to read up on what the local food is. There is a little Qatari traditional foods, but it's just like a melting pot of other Middle Eastern cuisines and things like that. But let's quickly play a game of guess the flag. What road do you want me to do? Right, Dan, we're gonna go for, I would say this one. Let's do this one. Okay, this one here. So yeah, this one behind you. Starting with Ukraine. Starting at the back. Ukraine at the back. No, it's, it's got red at the top. No, that's, that's a ripped off other flag. No, it's not, look at it. Look, it's ripped. Daniel, it's literally oh, wow, got red sorry, on the okay. top. So that's Armenia, actually. Thank you. And then I think, this might stump him. Gonna guess Mali. I think it's wrong. It's an African country. Then we've got South Africa. Then we've got Italy. Then we've got Ireland. Huh? Italy, Ireland? Dude, uh, no, that's the same flag. Italy, Thailand, sorry. <laughs> um, Afghanistan. I think the yellow one is Burundi. The one with the black in the middle? Africa, I think. And then this um, two. That one. I'm going to say Suriname. And then the one above us. Not sure. And Paraguay. Paraguay, well done. Lots of African flags that stump me out. Palestine, Jordan, actually. That could be Jordan, then Palestine. Albania. What's the one at the very, very end? What row? This row that I'm standing under. Oh, that's uh, Gabon, actually. Oh, I wouldn't have got that. I wouldn't have got that. I've got the rest of them, though. But I think... And then Singapore and Mexico. I think we should give a little clue as to where we're going next. After Qatar. So I might, yeah. I might have spot... The flag, the flag is in this row. So I think you can see it on the camera. So Comment below if you know where we're going next. So you comfy there? Comfort mode is unlocked. I think it's really cool just sitting here, looking at the flags, either remembering your memories from the countries and flags that you've been to or dreaming about the ones that you want to go to. We have arrived to the old port now in Doha. Behind us is the box park, which is like, uh, it's old shipping containers, painted bright colors that's now food places, cafes, shops, things like that. But you'll see in the background, we've walked all the way from the National Museum. This is the port behind me. You've got the stadium in the distance. There's actually a cool boat over there, kind of retro styled one. And we're basically just going to make our way into the old ports, like it's called the Mina district. So really colorful buildings, kind of in that traditional Arabian style. So, Let's go check that out. We have come into the colourful Mina district in the old port area and it's so beautiful, like it reminds me of something, I don't even know how to describe out of, I don't know, like Santorini but colourful. Um, yeah, all the buildings are like, they look really new as well. It looks like it's only been built recently, I guess. Very peaceful too. There's so quiet. Hardly anybody There's walking barely about. barely anybody here. I think it's time for us to get some food or something to drink. I think we'll get something in a second, but yeah, this is lovely. A really nice place to come and visit. So we've definitely earned this after a long day exploring, walking, walking <laughs> and in the heat of Doha too. So we stumbled across this place called Shwarma El Kabez. Yeah. It was right in the middle of here of the Mina district and they supposedly had the first veggie shawarma Thank in you. Qatar. So we're away to try it. Um, it's really nice sitting outside in the shade. Yeah, the setting's lovely actually. And yeah, I just love being surrounded by all these colorful buildings, but it's got chickpeas, we'll have a little look. kale, and so garlic sauce. Or kebab. Kebabs? Shawarma. Shawarma. I'll try it. Let's have a little taste. <laughs> so good. It's like, um, it's got a seasoning on it. Quite a, not a spicy, but like, 
and have a salad kind of seasoning. Really nice. Nice. Just watch the guys doing like cookie ups. It's a little bit of a photo shoot. <laughs> it's quite an Instagramable place, this. But yeah, it's beautiful, this place. Like, even just where we're sitting right now, there's a couple other lovely buildings. And then you've got the nice kind of pinky orangey ones over there. This green one. But yeah, it's certainly not very busy. Good wrap. Really good. Ten out of ten. Good. I think this is called to prayer now. Can you hear it? <laughs> Just walking along some of the narrow alleyways here in the Mina district and I think we've seen about every single colour possible of building. There's green, there's blue, pink, red, some with street art. There really is a cool place here in Doha and it seems to be popular with the locals as well. There's not so many tourists here, there's a lot of locals kind of just chilling out it is beside the sea so it's a little bit cooler and there's lots of cafes and restaurants as well as shops but yeah definitely visit the Mina district it's not that far from like the National Museum or the Souk Waqif so definitely very accessible and a really cool spot and a very unique spot as well something I've never seen before so yeah definitely add it to your Doha itinerary. We've just spotted the fish market. Should we go in? Let's go inside. Yeah. At least I'll be cold in here actually. Yeah. We don't need to keep the fish cold. You can hear that air con. Check out the roof of the building. This is cool. This is the cleanest fish market. This is beautiful. And it smells like, does it smell? It smells like fish it mixed with fresh. turkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the roof of the deck or the floor. Now I'm getting a little bit more of a fishy, the fishy smell. But yeah, this is so cool. It is, it is nice and cold in here, but the building's beautiful. Like it's all ornate, and I've never seen a fish market that looked this pretty before. Yeah, it sums up Qatar. Like everything's just yeah, so everything like, royal is like and extra. Extra, yeah, hundred percent. But yeah, really nice. I remember being in a fish market in one of our videos in Latvia and oh the place my. was, yeah. Stinking. Whereas this. It smells really nice. It smells of perfume, genuinely. Yeah. I don't know how they do it in here, but. Yeah, there must be something. We've seen like different fish for sale as well. Even shark, yeah, which I've never shark. seen before. I've never seen it like lay out like that. Like a little baby shark, which yeah. is kind of sad, but. Crabs, everything, squid. You can yeah. see the workers behind this, kind of uh, cutting up the fish and everything, but. Filleting. The thing the fish. Yeah. And the roof, honestly. This place is beautiful. I didn't expect it to look like this inside. Yeah, it's genuinely. So little, nice. Definitely visit this one. This is Mina District as well. Yeah. And, uh, Just so keep walking along and you'll see the big blue fish market. Bright blue building and pop inside. Really cool. I can't get over the smell of that fish market, but yeah. we're back outside now. We're kind of just finishing off with the Mina District. And after this, we're heading to Souk Wakif, which yeah. is the biggest souk. Maybe try some food there, see what the market's like. And then we might get a good sunset over the Doha skyline, so. Yeah. Even but, this area, we're just walking yeah. through part of it and it's just as beautiful. There's still more street art and it's just, oh, it's lovely. Yeah, so colorful. As, I know that you get a lot of sunny days in Doha, but the sun hitting against the buildings makes it even more colourful. So it's really ace here. We are leaving the Mina district and heading for Souk Wakif. 
but we're basically going to walk along the like, port here. It's called the Corniche, which is a really long walkway. It's called the Corniche, which is a really long walkway that gives you amazing views over the skyline of Doha. So, yeah, we're away to the souk. Hopefully, get some good food and some snacks there. It's the main marketplace, so there's lots of stalls I've heard. And yeah, we'll show you that when we get there. So, it's about a 25 minute walk from the Mina district. It is hot, but we're gonna make the walk just now. So, let's go check out the souk. Behind us is the Souk Waqif area, but what also is behind us is a beautiful sunset if you can see here. So we're just going to head down towards the marina so we'll get a better view over the skyline and hopefully the sunset. We'll do the Souk after to get some food. Yeah, let's go. Why in every language is pss, 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 cat call? Every country in the world, if you say pss, 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 cat, cats just look. Oh, he's cute. Well, what an incredible sunset that was. Um, you might hear the call to prayer going off in the background. That's because there is a few mosques around us. But where we're off to next is Souk Waqif and that is meant to come alive in the night time. It's Qatar or Doha's busiest shopping area. Lots of cafes, bars, and it's in a really historic setting as well. But the sunset viewpoint we were just at was incredible. Basically, it's just off Souk Waqif and you go beside the Pearl Monument and you'll walk up past the boats and you'll be greeted by one of the best views in Doha. So, Feeling pretty peckish now. Let's go get some food in the souk and experience some of the hustle and bustle. So we found a little spot. It's actually a Lebanese restaurant we found. Um, so we've ordered this platter for our tea to share. And yeah, the setting's really nice. We're just off like the main street. We've just come back a little bit and yeah. I think it's overall good value for food as well. I think it's only going to cost maybe £10, roughly. Well, we've not got the bill yet. But we'll update you once the bill arrives, but we're just waiting for the food now. Um, but yeah, it's nice sitting outside. Not done that in a long time without having to be blanket blanketed up. Um, I love this, like, I know it's not Qatari, but I love this type of food where it's kind of like tapas with Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern food is, like, so good. Who's just arrived? <laughs> Suddenly my face has gone from look at all of this. So got like hummus, we, other yeah, hummus. Fool. Uh, a fool is that one. That one's like with tahini, pickle vegetables, obviously bread, cauliflower, um, falafels with tahini in the middle. This one is like hummus he said but with yogurt on the top and the chickpeas and things so yeah bon appetito bon appetito this looks unreal <laughs> the pickles are pickly hang on <laughs> Pickle juice went down the wrong way, <laughs> but we're good. So, I'm just going in with this. Go for a dunk. <laughs> oh my god. 
I'm dying. I'm going with the classic hummus. The best. Just what we like. Just what we are looking for. So good. Mm. Cauliflower. It's like grilled, I think. I'm looking forward to trying this feast. Well, that was an amazing meal and even better it was only 34 rials which works out to be about seven pounds 40 uh, and that's for all that food and two bottles of water so unbelievable value we'll put the name of the restaurant but it's nestled just off the main street here in the souk we've still got a little bit of room left for baklava and maybe a tea but we're going to end the vlog here today and we'll see you in the next one as we explore another part of Doha tomorrow. So see you then.